Hey friends from all around the world, thank you so much for watching this video, it really means a great deal to me. I am Max Carlton and today we're going to check out how to bias one of these Marshall 1987X Plexi reissue heads. Okay, so before we start, I do want to warn you that there is a great danger when you are doing something like this in an amplifier because you are exposed to really, really, really high voltages. We're talking 400 to 500 volts here. So you really want to watch what you're doing in this amplifier. You don't want to be touching anything in this amp except for the key parts that we need to be touching and that is not with our hands, okay guys? So I do want you guys to know that this is not something where you can touch everything. You want to leave your hands as far away from the things that you don't want to be touching and you might want to be wearing gloves as I will do just to be extra safe. And of course we are going to need three things for this, three very basic things to bias your Marshall head and that will be a normal straight up Phillips head screwdriver to open the cabinet and to take the chassis out. Then you will need a very small flat headed screwdriver to do the bias on your amp. And then last but certainly not least a multimeter. And in this case I'm going to be using a very cheap multimeter that you can get for around 4 euros because there are a lot of ways where you can do it with a very expensive multimeter and a tube probe socket which makes it easier for some guys but this is the cheapest way and we guitarists don't like to spend a lot of money on these type of things so that's why I'm using a very 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 cheap multimeter and it can be done guys so guys, I do want you to know that I upload videos every Sunday related to gear and guitar stuff and please do check out some of my other videos. So please hit that subscribe button, check out some other videos and please do like this video or dislike it and put some comments in the comment section down below. I love to hear what you have to say guys. Okay guys, so as you can see this is the way I like to put my amp on the table with a little bit of soft stuff underneath there. And now I am going to remove the back panel. Okay, so now that we have the back panel removed, I like to put on some gloves just to be safe with these guys. I use these gloves, it really doesn't matter as long as they are plastic. These are not the best to do this, but they are something, so that's why I use them. Okay, so now that I have my gloves on, I like to remove the chassis from the cabinet. And when I am removing this, I like to hold it at the uh, transformer here and at the chassis here. Just because the transformer has a lot of weight and you want not to be touching these two because... These are really going to hurt if you are going to touch those. Those hold the really high voltages, so don't go near them with your hands. Please stay very clear of them. So first we need to remove these four screws here. Okay guys, so once again the way I like to remove this chassis is by just holding this here and then this transformer here, so let's take it out of there. Okay, so what we want to be doing now is we want to put in the cabinet right here, so that we have a load on the head. You also can use something like an attenuator all the way up or whatever. A load on here, basically just put your cabinet in here. And then we want to put our power in here and then we're going to measure what we have to measure guys. So we put our cabinet in here, which in my case will be an attenuator. And now we give this baby some power. So again, you really want to be careful here. You don't want to be touching anything here except for the things you need to be touching. 
So now you want to be setting your multimeter and I have it set on 200 millivolts DC because we are going to measure to about 100 millivolts maximum. So now what you want to be doing is you want to put the black one at this hole or any of these holes because it makes it very convenient to measure the ground of the circuit. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are here at the power tube sockets and we want to be measuring at one of the two pins that goes to the resistor. This resistor is going straight to ground. So basically what we're doing is we're measuring the voltage across the resistor, which gives us ultimately the current running through that resistor because it is a one ohm resistor. So what I do is I just put this pin inside here. There we have it, it's inside there and now I'm going to back up and we are going to read some measurements. Okay guys, so I have everything connected. I have the red one connected to the right pin there. I have the black one connected to ground. Now let's turn on this amp. Okay guys, so it has been running for a while and now we're idling at about 40 millivolts, which means actually 40 milliamperes. So the value that you want to be using is going to be anywhere from between 30 or 50. They say the sweet spot is about 35. For me, it is 40, but you are really good anywhere between 25 and about 50. But I wouldn't recommend going a lot higher than 40. The dial you want to be using to set your bias is this left one here. So to do that, if you are going clockwise, that means you are going to lower your bias. And if you are going counterclockwise, that will mean that you are hiring your bias. So right now I am going to leave it, but if you wanted to go lower, that means you have to go clockwise. And if you want to go higher, you have to go counterclockwise. And then you want to be at the number of about 35. Again, I like it at about 40, but they say 35 is the sweet spot. So now that you have set your bias, you can now turn off your amp. So I will carefully remove these probes of the amplifier. And then I will put the chassis back into the cabinet. One quick tip when you are unplugging an amplifier is always first unplug the power. Because what that allows you to do is it allows you to be very certain that there is a load on your amp even if there is no power to your amp and that is a really great thing to have. Okay guys, so once again I like to hold the amplifier at these two points which is the chassis and the transformer. Now we're going to drop it very carefully into this cabinet. Okay, so once you have one of these screws turned into the chassis, it really becomes easy to turn the other tree into the chassis. It always helps to press the chassis closer to the cabinet if you are screwing it in. Okay guys, so now we're putting on the back and that is basically it for this video guys. So there you have it guys, that was how to bias a Marshall 1987X Plexi. So I hope you guys liked it. As always, please do like, comment and dislike if you dislike the video. And I really would appreciate again if you would subscribe to this channel. And other than that, I will see you next Sunday guys.